So we've moved inside to the uh, longitudinal section of the brain. So the first thing we're going to look at right here, this little thin piece of tissue is the septum pellicidum that's right here. You can see it a little bit on this one as well, though there's only partial on there. So this right here is that septum pellicidum. It's going to separate the lateral ventricles, which you don't have to know, but that's what the um, that space is back here is the lateral ventricles. So you can see that above that septum pellicinum, this piece that kind of makes almost like a C-ish shape here, that's going to be the corpus callosum. So the corpus callosum is here. Then we have this piece right here is the fornix. So the fornix is this piece here. Then as we move down into this region here, I don't know if you can kind of see how there's a little recessed area here. So this area right in here, the space that's here, that's going to be the third ventricle. Whenever you hear ventricle, ventricle means space. So this whole like space in here is a ventricle, so I usually um, will put uh, indicate like a space versus, um, so if there was a pin in here and then I had a little card that asked, you know, what is the space that's talking about the third ventricle. If I had the pin in a particular place like this and there was no card asking for space, then I want you to tell me, oh, that's the, the thalamus. So we have the, the thalamus and then the hypothalamus down here. So we have those. Then as we move towards the, the back of the brain here, as we come here, you have that little duct that kind of goes through here. That's going to be the cerebral aqueduct here. So the fluid that's in the third ventricle can get to the fourth ventricle. It's kind of the space that you see right here um, in the area right near um, the cerebellum. So you'll be able to see that. Um, in the cerebellum, when you cut that open, the white matter you're seeing in here, that is the arbor vitae, which means tree of life. So arbor vitae is the white matter there. You can see it real nicely, I think, in this one. You can see it almost looks tree-like there. So there's that fourth ventricle, cerebral aqueduct, arbor vitae. Um, thalamus is here and hypothalamus down here. So thalamus, hypothalamus. So we can see those structures. We have the superior and inferior colliculi. You can kind of see them in the cross section right here. I think they're a little bit easier to see if you take the whole brain and you kind of pull that um, cerebellum away from the cerebrum. So these two top ones are the superior colliculi and then the bottom two are the inferior colliculi. So on top, superior and bottom is the inferior. So those are the inferior colliculi, superior colliculi. If we go back to that longitudinal section, we kind of follow back from that corpus callosum. This right here is the pineal body. So the pineal body is there. Um, as we look in this region, kind of right in here, this is going to be the midbrain. This region right here is the midbrain. So I can put not this big of a string, but just put something over that would indicate that I'm looking for midbrain right there. So that's that midbrain. Uh, as we move down, you have the pons right here, so kind of where it makes that bubbly part right there, that's going to be the pons, and then as you come down from there, that is going to be the medulla oblongata. So here, this one I think is even better. So this is the pons right here, so the pons here, you can see it's almost like this little rounded area, and then this would be the medulla oblongata here. So you have that, um, and then, like I said, as you come down to the end, the end there is going to be the spinal cord so you kind of see those structures.